Welcome to Monday's clip on the Sports Bible. Uh, this is going to be a little show basically with me on it. A um, little five, six minute show we're going to put up on our YouTube uh, to, get, to get our YouTube going again and it's going to come across all our social media platforms. I haven't got a name for it yet, um, so please help me out with this. It's, I'm going to be up first on a Monday night. This week I'm going to talk about Real Oviedo um, and quite possibly a little bit of Oklahoma City Thunder. So it's not going to focus too much on the likes of Liverpool and the Premier League because we'll talk about that in our live show. Um, just to talk about Oviedo and get started, today they had a humongous game. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm one of the people that bought in. My shares are up there, but you can't really see them, I don't think, in this video. I bought some shares in Oviedo a couple of years ago when the brilliant journalist Sid Lowe um, helped run a campaign for it to try and get fans to buy the club because they were in a bit of trouble. And, all fans all over the world have bought it and bought into it and I've sort of kept a little eye on them then and it's, it's since really been this year and towards the end of last year I've sort of tried to pay a bit more attention to them like sometimes I completely don't get to see any games at all and have to wait until later that night to catch up on them and then all the times I'll be able to watch a full game it just sort of depends what happens but today was massive because today Oviedo for the first time in 15 years were hosting their rivals, or Derby rivals, Sporting Ehon, I think it is um, pronounced, at home um, in a humongous game. Oviedo are, are chasing promotion. Uh, at the start of the day, they were, um, I think they were level on points with second place, and so they needed to just keep going and keep chasing it down. Level with, I think it is, just have it in front of me here. Um, who was it? It's not Huesca because they're leading the league, but it is, just grab it for you now. Is Cadiz, so they've gone level with them after twenty five games. Well, they were level with them after twenty four games. So, obviously, all the were playing today against Sporting Ehon. If you haven't seen on social media, I try to retweet some of the stuff, and I'll maybe get the Sports Hub page to show some of it as well. The fans all day were going wild. All the looked amazing. Uh, they were out in the streets from all from all hours this morning. They they welcomed the team bus in with a massive like parade in front of it. The huge banner dropped down during the game. The stadium looked the class. It's everything you'd want, really. Like a lot of us are Premier League or Scottish League or, or Irish League fans, and, and we all love our teams and get into our teams. But it, it, I was really sort of envious a little bit that you don't see this from Liverpool. You see it sometimes in European nights. You, you might have seen it, but um, it looked amazing. The whole atmosphere, the whole city looked unbelievable, and. So they went on and played Sporting Ehon in, in this massive derby and after 20 odd minutes were 1-0 down. <laughs> it wasn't going too great. Um, thankfully though they have a left back who just seemed to find the net. Uh, Musa, he equalised in 37 minutes with a, a really well taken goal. Uh, cutting in from, from the, the sideline and, and putting it in the bottom corner, in the far bottom right corner. But it wasn't until the second half where he scored the winner. It was early on in the second half but it was an absolute screamer. 47 minutes in, he's on the other wing this time and he, and he cuts inside, he's about 25 yards out and he curls it into the far top corner. It was an unbelievable goal to win any game and the place, the Carlos Tartier Stadium went wild. I was watching bits, I was trying to watch the Liverpool and Spurs game as well and I will talk about this on Thursday night with the boys, I'm sure they'll want to, to grill me over the penalty decisions but... I was trying. I was watching the Oviedo game on my phone and keeping an eye on it, and the place went boogaloo. Um, they managed to hold on and get the win. And still now, like what time is it now? It's quarter to eight. A quarter to nine here in, in Ireland, so it's quarter to ten in Oviedo. They still are out in the streets celebrating and going wild. The players stood on in the pitch afterwards and saluted all the fans. None of the fans left. Vamos, vamos, Oviedo was being sung for ages. It just, this guy getting goosebumps talking about it. It just sounded absolutely amazing. And, and Jose, my friend Jose, that I talk to on Twitter all the time, he's been brilliant. He, he's from Oviedo and he's a humongous Oviedo fan. He, he updates me every week about what's been going on in the club, be it transfers, be it stuff to do with Carlos Slim, one of the richest men in the world who now owns a chunk of the club. Whatever's going on, shareholder news, anything he always updates me. And Jose, I really appreciate that and thank you for it. He, I haven't even heard from him since the one, so he's probably way out and gone absolutely nuts. But brilliant from Oviedo to win that. It, it'd be like like Liverpool not playing Everton at Anfield for 15 years and then playing them and beating them. It would, it's just an amazing thing. It's like Chelsea not playing Spurs or United not playing Man City or Celtic and Rangers not playing each other. It would just be 
such a moment, such an occasion, and the stadium looked unbelievable. Um, celebrations afterwards. So enjoy yourselves tonight, Oviedo. This is Sunday, and this is obviously going up tomorrow or Monday night. But I hope you've enjoyed yourselves on Sunday night, and still enjoying yourselves on Monday. I don't think too many of us will be going to work, but brilliant. Um, another little thing, those that know, I'm I'm a basketball fan, and I'm sort of trying to use this little vlog, this little video, to try and get more of you to buy into basketball with me, or some of you maybe like it and haven't haven't mentioned it before because I want to get talking a bit more about basketball and the sports babble. It's it's one of the sports I want to sort of focus on going forward. I'm watching the OKC game here at the minute, and they're getting beat by the Lakers. They went on like an eight or nine game winning streak, and the big three were getting mentioned all the time as they finally clicked. That was Melo, um, Paul George, and obviously Russ, and they looked like they really found found the rhythm, found the form, and they were going to do something this year. And then like the unsung hero, Andy Robertson, uh, injured his knee, and. I think it was like a, a, a patella tendon that he ruptured completely against Detroit and it's just thrown him way off kilter. It's like, it's like um, he sort of, to, to talk about football again, he would remind you of like the Park T song and the Dark Quite and the Young Song Hero who just does a job. Like, he, he can't shoot but he can defend. He's one of the best I think in the NBA on defence and they really started to miss him. They need to get this game against the LA Lakers over the line. They've just gone 71 70 up in the third quarter so hopefully they can get something done but any of you out there that watch basketball or watch it as much as me and want if we want to talk about it want to write about it get in touch with the sports babble because it's something that we're going to progress with in the future there is going to be content up every night now so it was my turn tonight and um, that's going to be monday night and then brenton's going to do something on tuesday and jake on wednesday and we'll have our live show on thursday plus there'll be more plus i'm sure you've seen we are now live tweeting during sport big sporting games sporting moments like the lads Brenton did Liverpool or Arsenal v sorry Everton last night and Jake did um Liverpool v Tottenham today and the two boys are brilliant it's my turn tomorrow night to do Chelsea v Watford it isn't always going to be football or it could be basketball if I wasn't in work tomorrow I might have done the Super Bowl different things are going to come up we'll be covering golf all sorts and um, but this is my Monday night video and it's just what I want to talk about what I've seen at the weekend that isn't going to be really Premier League and Liverpool related, so there'll be road racing, basketball, and famous Oviedo. Vamos, famous Oviedo! Thanks everyone for watching. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook at the Sports Babble. Check out our YouTube page. That's where our, most of our weekly videos are going to be from now on. Come over and subscribe and help us make the Sports Babble even better. See you.